continue down there, I think. Yeah. I, well, I put moisturizer on. I don't know what takes that girl so long from school. She's throwing a three-legged turtle. Well, she ain't here soon. I'll send a hand up the road to fetch her. You think it's coming for sure, Henry? I don't know. I don't like Luke or that sky at all, Emma. There's a close feeling in the air, all right. Nope, I don't like it at all. Drop that girl. Dorothy! Here, you, Joe. Yeah, you. Why don't you hike on up the road, please, and see what's holding up Dorothy? Sure thing, Mr. Gal. And move it. I think we're gonna get a twister. A twister? Yep. Well, what do you know? A twister. Well, don't just stand there, Joe. Get. I'm getting, Mr. Gal. Hold it a minute, you Joe. I think I see her. Dorothy! There she is. Come on, cold molasses. Joe, we better see about the stock. I don't like looking at that sky at all. Let's get. Okay, Mr. Gale. Hello, Annie Where have you been, miss? No place. I came right home from school. How'd you come, way Topeka? I came right home, on it. Them flowers just grew in your hand, I suppose? They're for Uncle Henry. Tis mar tomorrow's his birthday. Aren't they pretty? Smell. <coughs> You know I'm allergic to those flowers, Dorothy. Here we've been sitting worried half to death where you've been, and you're picking flowers? But it only took a jiffy to get these. <laughs> what else you been doing? Nothing. Nothing? Well, except look in the creek for a jiffy. In waiting, were you? No. I just like to sit on the banks and look inside. Inside of what? The creek. The creek ain't got insides, Dorothy. It's only got a bottom. And there isn't anything to see in it, only some stones and fish swimming around. Is that all you see in a crick, Annie M? That's all any Christian would see, Dorothy. But didn't you ever look at a fish quick and think first off it was a mermaid, maybe? Dorothy. I have lots of time. It ain't right, Dorothy. Why? The good Lord had wanted us to see fish swimming through our cow pasture to put them there himself. But didn't you ever pretend things, Annie M? Like maybe a cloud wasn't a cloud, but a big palace or something? Why, just this afternoon when I was lying in the field right home the... from school, eh? But it's so nice out, Ann M. Nice? Your Uncle Henry's worried half to death there's going to be a twister. But Uncle Henry's always worried about something. Yesterday it was the mortgage, and the day before that it was inflation. Well, when you grow up, you'll worry too. About inflation? I wouldn't doubt it one bit. Not me, Ann M. When I get big, I'm not going to worry about anything. <laughs> That's a good trick. Only how are you going to do it? Well, I'm going to go someplace where people don't believe in worrying. And pray tell, where is that? Well, I don't know exactly, but someday I'm going to find it. I hope you do, child. I'll take these and put them in some water for your Uncle Henry. <coughs> but remember, no going away in case that twister comes. I won't. Hello, you, Joe. Hello. Joe? Huh? What are your figures over the rainbow? Huh? The rainbow. It must go someplace, someplace wonderful. I don't know, Dorothy. I really never gave that much thought.
It came right out of the sky. It flew right down the rainbow. Zoom! How do you know it killed the Wicked Witch? I saw it. The house lit it crack on her head. Zoom! If you don't believe me, look. That's the witch's feet sticking out underneath. It's a ruby slipper, though, right? She must be dead. Hooray! What's the matter? Whoever owns that house must be powerful indeed. Another witch, perhaps. Another, Another witch? So until then we know whether she's good or bad, we better be careful. Then how are we going to find that out? Go and knock. Spoken like a true munchkin, Mayor. Go ahead. We'll wait. No, uh not me. No way. Put some on your property. But this is your job to welcome strangers. You are the mayor. I got an idea. He's on the committee. You go. You're the mayor. You ought to go first. We'll all go together. Nothing in a witch. Go ahead, Mayor. Knock. Well, seems such a shame to wake her. Go ahead. You're not afraid of a girl, are you? Me? Afraid of a girl? Oh, Mayor, I want to show you. I jumped to the twister and blew the house way up into the sky, and it got caught in the rainbow and... Hey! Something tells me this is in Kansas. in Kansas. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Witch, are you speaking to me, miss? Why, I'm not a witch. Her name is RFD2. Well, welcome, RFD2. You see, I'm a little confused. The munchkins called and told me that a new witch had landed in their village. I've already told you I'm not a witch. I'm just Dorothy Gill from Kansas. Kansas, I think I've read about that in one of our children's books. What place is this? Why, this is the county of the Munchkins in the land of Oz. Well, how did I get here? Your house brought you down the rainbow. Oh, certainly is pretty. Is this the first time you've seen the other end of the rainbow, Dorothy? Yes, um, you know, I never saw one hang around quite so long. Oh, it's there all the time. It's only the other end that moves around. We sometimes wonder where it goes. Are you a munchkin, miss? No, I'm Glenda, the sorceress of the north, and I rule the county of the Gillikins in the north part of Oz. I see. Pardon me, but is Oz a fairyland? Naturally. Isn't Kansas? Well, not exactly. Well, then how is it your house flies so well? That was a twister. Whatever it was, you've done the munchkins a great service by killing their wicked witch. I killed a witch? Or your house did? Look. Oh, how dreadful. Why don't we any M say? If your Aunt M knew the witch, Dorothy, she'd say you'd done a wonderful thing. She was very wicked. Had I the power, I would have rid the land of Oz of her long ago. Well, if you think nobody will mind, ask the munchkins what they think. Where are they? 
Oh, they're about. Come out, you munchkins, come out. This isn't a witch. Come out, come out, wherever you are, and meet the young man. County of the land of us. I welcome you most regally, but we've got to verify it legally to see if she is morally, ethically, spiritually, physically, positively, absolutely, undeniably. for all the munchkins and their descendants. If any. <laughs> Thank you. 
you can be. The Red Minority! Well, I hope you don't think I'm being impolite or anything, but, well, you see, tomorrow's Uncle Henry's birthday, and I've just got to be there. So would you mind telling me just how I get back to Kansas? Kansas? Doesn't anyone know how to get there? Aren't there trains or buses or something? Not at all, Dorothy. But I've just got to get home. Well, I know. Why don't you get back in that house of yours and fly back up the rainbow? <laughs> oh, I couldn't do that. Not unless there was another twister. Say, how about that, Miss Sorceress? Do you think you could find a cyclone for me someplace? No, I haven't the power for that, Dorothy. I'm afraid there's no way at all for you to get back to Kansas. But I've just got to. Unless, perhaps, the great Oz <laughs> himself could help you. Who is this great Oz? <laughs> the great Oz <laughs> is our ruler. He's the most powerful wizard in this whole fairyland. Can he get me back to Kansas? The great Oz <laughs> can do anything. Well, where is he? He lives in the Emerald City, in the exact center of the land of Oz. Well, how do I get there? I'm afraid the only way is to walk, and it's a long and dangerous journey. Oh, I don't care. I'll do anything to get back to Kansas. The ruby slippers, please. Put the magic ruby slippers on. And just to be sure, I'll place my mark upon your forehead to keep all harm away upon your journey. The munchkins will show you the road you must take, Dorothy. Goodbye. Goodbye and thank you. Oh, and remember, should you need me, place your right hand upon the mark and call my name three times. Yes, Miss Sorceress. Goodbye. Now, if you come along with me, miss, we'll get you on the right road. Say, is it far? It's a many days' journey. Then wait a minute. I want to get something to take with me.
Well, which is it? This or this? But they couldn't have gone both ways. Wait a minute. You moved. Are you alive? Can you talk? I don't know. I never tried. While well, you're talking now. Well, so I am. Easy, isn't it? Easiest thing there is, Annie M always says. Oh, if it was hard, I'd never be able to do it. Well, why not? I haven't got a brain. How do you know? The farmer that stuffed me left it out. I wouldn't worry. Plenty of people get along fine without one. I hope you're right. Have you got one? A brain? Sure. Well, don't you think it's foolish of me to spend the rest of my life on top of this pole? I don't suppose it's very comfortable. Not only that, but what good am I? Don't you scare crows? No. They take one look at me and go right on eating the corn. They know I'm fastened here. They've got brains, you see. Well, then, I guess there's not much point of you being there. That's what I'd think if I could think. Would you like me to help you down? Oh, would you? I think I can reach. Thank you, thank you very much. Can you walk? I don't know, I never tried. You see, I was only made this morning. My, you're young. When were you made? Oh, years and years ago. My, you must be very well stuffed. Why, I'm not stuffed at all. Well, what holds you up? Oh, bones in, and all sorts of things. You're a very unusual scarecrow. Why, I'm not a scarecrow at all. I'm a person like the munchkins. Wow, there really is a lot to learn, isn't there? Ooh. Doesn't that hurt you? What's hurt? What you don't know doesn't hurt, I guess. Well, now that I can walk, where should we go? Well, I've got to find the munchkins. Oh, they went that way. How could they go both ways? They were afraid of the witch and they ran all over the place. Well, then I got to find the village. Oh, if I had any brains, I think it was that way. Why there? Because that's where most of them ran. Then that's the way I'll go. Oh, Dorothy. After you find the munchkins, you're going to Emerald City, aren't you? Yes. I'm going to ask the Great Oz to send me back to Kansas. Do you suppose the Great Oz could give me a brain? I don't know, but it, it wouldn't hurt to ask him. Do you mind if I go along with you? Of course not. Wait here while I get Toto. Munchkin. Oh. Are you sure you're willing to go all that way just to get a brain? A brain. Ah, oh, if I only had a brain. I could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. There's no denying I'm just a dandelion Fate I don't deserve Oh, the blue I'd be thinking I could be another Lincoln If I only had a brain Oh, I could tell you why The ocean meets the shore I could think of things I never found before And then I'd sit Just a nothing, my head all full of stuffing, my heart all full of pain. And perhaps I deserve ya and be even worthy of ya if I only had a brain.
are now, my dear, you'll feel my wrath. Think you have it made? I'll get to my pretty. Now your cards are played, and my time has come! Fly, monkeys! <laughs> there now. How far did that man back there say it was? Two hoots and a holler down the road, he said. We must be almost there then. Look at this sign. It says, Munchkinville, one holler. Thank goodness. Oh, yeah. There I go again. You ought to watch where you're going, Scarecrow. I would if I had any brains. Look at the cute little bridge over the stream. That's another thing I'll know when I get my brains. What? Why they cover bridges. Bridge, take them for a ride. And bring them back to my side. Funny. What is? That looks like the same stone I just fell over. Oh, a stone's a stone, Scarecrow. Look at that sign. Uh, that one's pointing the wrong way. Is it? Are we? What do you mean? If I had any brains, I'd think that was the same sign. It can't be. The other one points like this. Does it? Yes, I'll show you, and I won't move my arm. Oh, come on. See? I guess you're right, Dorothy. Goes to show you what brains can do. Well, that's the last time I'll take that trip. Did you see what I saw, Scarecrow? Yup. How are we gonna get across? Let's see. Every time we go in, we come out backwards, don't we? Uh-huh. So? All we gotta do then is go in backwards and we'll come out right. Will we? Come on, sure. Now turn around and walk backwards. Yeah. it. 
No, we're right back where we started. Oh, if I could only think. Let's see now. I know, Scarecrow. What? All we have to do is stand on this end of the bridge and not move. And it'll carry us over, you mean? Yes. Oh, come on, let's try. While it's still, let's sneak over it very quietly. Okay. going to get to Kansas. Yes, you will too. Not if we don't cross that bridge. Oh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But we have come to it. Oh. I know, Dorothy. The bridge can't turn very fast. If we run, I think we can get across before it knows what's happened. Let's try then. Okay. On your mark, get set, go. a big tin soldier. Tin Woodman, if you don't mind. He can talk. I'd talk much better if he'd oil my jaws. What's he saying? Oil, oil, oil can, oil. Oil. Oil can, that's it. Here you go. Oil my jaws. Like this? That's much better, thank you. Now, would you oil my hips? Okay. What was the trouble? I rusted, that's all. I was out chopping wood and got caught in the rain. Now, if you just oil my arms so I could put this axe on. Oh, certainly. Ah, uh, this much better. It seems like I was holding that axe up for ages. His right elbow still squeaks, Dorothy. Never mind it now. Will you fix my legs, please? And you're really alive? Why, certainly, my dear. Is that so surprising? Well, in Kansas it would be. Even in Oz it's unique. As far as I know, the tinsmith made only one like me before he went away. Well, if you ask me, I think he did a pretty wonderful job. There's only one thing wrong with me. What's that? Listen. Hollow, hollow, hollow. You see, I haven't got a heart. Oh, don't cry. Will you please give me? You want my handkerchief? No, the whole can. Oh. 
I need only one thing to be the happiest tin man alive. A heart. When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal, and yet I'm torn apart. Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind of human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy that shoots the arrows if I only had a heart. Picture me, a balcony, above a voice sings love. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? I hear a beat. How sweet, just to register emotion, jealousy, devotion, and really feel the part. I would stay young and chipper, and I'd lock it with a zipper if I only had a heart. The Scarecrow and I are going to Emerald City. And I'm going to ask the Great Oz to send me back to Kansas. And I'm going to ask for a brain. Do you think the Great Oz could give me a heart? I was going to suggest you come along and see if he would. I'd like to very much. If you had any sense, you'd ask for a brain. What good's a heart if you don't know what to do with it? I'll take the heart. Brains can't make you happy. And happy, happiness is the very best thing in the world. Come on, then. Let's go. Wait a minute, do you know the way? The Munchkins will tell us. But where are they? Here comes some of them now. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hi. Which way to Emerald City, friends? All you have to do is... Follow the Yellow Brick Road. Follow the Yellow Brick Road? Follow the Yellow Brick Road. Follow the Yellow Brick Road. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road, follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road, follow the rainbow over the stream, follow the fellow who follows his dream, follow, follow. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We hear he is a wizard, a wizard, if ever a wizard there was. If ever a the Wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Here we are, Dorothy, the Yellow Brick Road. And this will take me all the way to Emerald City? If you stay on it, you're bound to get there. That is, if the bears don't get you first. Are there bears in this forest? Well, as the scarecrow wants to know if there are bears here. Are there bears? Now, don't be scaring us people this way. You know perfectly well there's no bears around here anymore. That's good. Nope, not since the lions and tigers ate them. <laughs> One more thing you have to watch out for. What's that? The jitterbugs. Jitterbugs? What are they? We don't really know. Nobody's ever lived to tell. What we do know is they make you dance. Well, that doesn't seem so awful. But they won't let you stop. You just dance and dance and dance and dance. 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 Oh, gee. And what would they do to me? I can't dance. Ah, the jitterbugs they teach you. Don't you worry. 
Ooh, I just get so nervous just thinking about them. <laughs> Makes me nervous. Makes me nervous. Makes me nervous. Makes me nervous, too. Well, goodbye, Dorothy. Have a safe trip. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, don't rush off. You know what? I think they're scared. I know I am. Oh, there's nothing to be scared of, Dorothy. No, just lions, tigers, bears, and jitterbugs. The Scarecrow and I will take good care of you, Dorothy. I know you will. Besides, I've got the Sorceress's mark on me. She said that if I ever needed her, just to call three times. So who's afraid of some old bear? That's the way to talk. I'm not afraid of anything, except the lighted match. And I'm not afraid of anything at all, as long as I'm well oiled. We're off to see the, the wizard, wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. We hear he is a wizard of a wizard, ever a wizard there was. If ever, oh, ever a wizard there was, the Wizard of Oz is one. Because, 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 because. Put him, uh, put up your dukes and fight. Are you men or are you mice? <laughs> Come on, put them up. I'll fight both of you at once. I'll fight you on one paw. I'll fight you with a paw tied behind my back. Come on, put them up. Oh, you won't fight, huh? <laughs> Come on, get up and fight. I got half a mind to rend you a limb from a limb. Come on. Leave alone, you big bully. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but a coward. Look at I help it. Stop that. You are too big to cry. But it's so humiliating. Oh, uh, what is? A fine king of beasts I am. I'm afraid of everything. Oh, I wished I was dead. Except I'm afraid to die, too. Oh, what are you afraid of all the time? How would you like to live in this big, dark forest with all those wild beasts hanging around? Oh, all those bears! Oh. Don't you fight with them! Oh. I roar at them and they run away. Well, what are you afraid of bears for? Supposing someday one of them doesn't run. Oh. And to top it all off, I'm hungry all the time. In the forest here? Well, I should suppose there'd be lots of game to kill. Well, there is, but I can't stand the sight of blood. <laughs> what you need is courage. You're telling me, pal. Courage. If I only had courage. Life is sad, believe me, missy, when you're born to be a sissy without the vim and fur. But I could change my habits, never more be scared of rabbits if I only had the nerve. I'm afraid there's no denying I'm just a dandelion, a fate I don't deserve. But I could show my prowess, be a lion, not a mouse if I only had the nerve. Oh, show the dinosaurus who's king around us for us a king they'd better serve why with my regal beezer i could be another caesar if i only had the nerve And I'm gonna ask for a heart. Who's this Oz? He's a wizard. Could he give me courage? I'm sure he could. Well, oh, I couldn't. I wouldn't know what to ask him. He might say no. Oh, you wouldn't be any worse off than you are now. Oh, but I couldn't. I wouldn't know how to conduct myself in court. Uh, I'm not a social lion. Aw, uh, come on. Well, 
If you're all sure you wouldn't be ashamed to be seen with such a coward. Of course not. Okay, I'll go. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We hear he is a wizard, a wizard, if ever a wizard there was. If ever, ever a wizard there was, the wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because. because. Void. It may be just a cricket or a critter in the trees. It's giving me the jitters and the joints around the knees. I think I see a jitchick and he's fuzzy and he's furry. I haven't got a brain, but I think I ought to worry. I haven't got a heart, but I've got palpitation. As water comes the forest, I don't like the situation. Are you going to stand around and let a fill us full of heart? I'd like to roar down. I think I lost my roar, 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 roar. It's a who's it? It's a who's it? It's a what's it? It's a what's it? Who's it? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that hiding in the treetops? It's that rascal, the jitterbug. Set my mark.
that do defy the North. Come wind, bring frost, bring snow, bring hail, and freeze these writhing spirits in a chain of ice. Freeze, freeze, freeze. <laughs> Thank you. 